After revealing that each season of American Horror Story is somehow connected, creator Ryan Murphy has now seemingly confirmed a popular fan theory on Instagram, arguing that every season is linked through Dante's Inferno. Does this mean that each season reflects a circle of hell from the classic poem? What does this tell us about our upcoming journey into season 7? And does this suggest that American Horror Story will end after 9 seasons? To find that out, we must delve deep into Dante Alighieri's 14th century poem, The Divine Comedy, exploring each of the nine circles of hell in turn. Circle 1. Limbo. Murder House. The first circle of hell is where everyone who died before being baptized is sent. Murder House embodies this clearly by revealing that the deceased members of the Harmon family are trapped in their home as ghosts. Circle 2. Lust. Many fans assumed that Hotel was the second circle of hell, given the abundance of blood orgies and drildos. However, it now seems as though season 8 or 9 could be even more sexual in nature than Hotel, potentially blowing sinners around in a violent storm like they do in Dante's Inferno. Circle 3. Gluttony. Hotel. In the third circle of hell, gluttons are condemned to eat disgusting filth. But in Hotel, the characters chose to do this themselves, Addiction to alcohol, drugs, and even blood drove the likes of the Countess to despicable acts, although they got their just desserts by the end. Circle 4. Greed. Freak Show. Between Elsa's obsession with fame and Dandy's arrogant use of wealth, Freak Show epitomized greed in a series of inventive and depraved ways. Luckily, these characters weren't forced to smash rocks together for eternity like the unfortunate sinners in Dante's Inferno. Circle 5. Anger. Roanoke. The violence in the sixth season of American Horror Story ultimately stemmed from the Butcher's anger towards those who trespassed in the Roanoke House. In the fifth circle of hell, the angry sinners eternally fought each other on the surface of the River Styx, much like the spirits trapped on the Roanoke property. Circle 6. Heresy. Cult. Murphy's acknowledgement of heresy and politics as a theme for Season 7 suggests that clown cults may spring up in defiance of the incumbent administration, sowing the seeds of dissent among the American people. Perhaps the offenders may even burn to death in flaming tombs, like the sinners trapped in Dante's sixth circle of hell. Circle 7. Violence. Knowing that a crossover between Coven and Murder House will probably play out in Season 8 or 9, could ultra levels of violence occur between the residents of the murder house and the Supreme's coven? Circle 8. Fraud. Asylum. Fraud played a huge role in Asylum, most notably through the Briarcliff staff who pretended to help patients heal when they weren't even sick in the first place. In the eighth circle of hell, thieves, liars, sorcerers, and false prophets all suffer eternal damnation, much like they did in Briarcliff too. Circle 9. Treachery. Coven. The lowest circle of hell is the most despicable of all, represented in American Horror Story by the power-hungry witches who fight one another in a bid to become the next Supreme. While many were punished in truly horrific ways during the Seven Wonders, none endured a fate worse than Judas, Brutus, and Cassius in Dante's Inferno, who were trapped in the ever-devouring mouths of Satan. Now that Murphy has hinted that the Dante's Inferno theory could apply to American Horror Story, fans have begun to worry that the end is nigh. FX recently confirmed that the show had been renewed for three more seasons up to season 9, which seemed like a bold and oddly specific move at the time. What if the plan was to end the show after 9 seasons all along? Of course, this is all just speculation for now. However, if American Horror Story does end after 9 seasons, it would be fitting to end with a crossover season, representing a culmination of everything that the show has achieved by bringing everyone's favorite characters back one more time. <laughs>